It is 9 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment. Um, well, it's not until 12 p.m., but it's an hour away, so we have to leave at 11. So I'm just getting ready. Haven't had my coffee yet. Um, my mom is currently down at Nani's, getting her out of bed for the day. So I'll have my coffee when she gets back because it's currently in the fridge cooling down from the coffee maker because I only like iced coffee. I'm not really a huge fan of hot coffee. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to start this video was because I wanted to tell you a little bit more information about the baclofen pump and how it helps me and how it could help other people. Um... Because I made a video on it, like, I want to say like two years ago, but my editing and talking points weren't the best, so I don't really like how it came out. Funny enough, it's one of my most popular videos, but anyway, I just wanted to talk about it for a minute. Now, I would show you where my backbone bump is but it's in my stomach, so. And I have a surgical scar because it's surgically in place. But, it is in the area of my um, stomach, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but anyway, it's in my stomach. Um, and it's surgically in place in there, it's sewn in there, and yeah so it's not moving around when i move and whatever it's still like you don't have to worry about any of that now let's talk medication because it's called a baclofen pump because there is a medication called baclofen that goes in the pump um which i'll get into in a minute um that goes in there to help with spasticity, to help with tight muscles, to help with, uh, rain, like, you know, to loosen everything up to get, like, better range of motion, um, you know, just to, like, loosen everything up. It's a muscle relaxer to loosen tight muscles. It's not only used for CP, I've seen people and I've known people to use it for multiple girls. I can't say the word multiple girl sclerosis, MS. What I however you say MS, that's what they use it for. Um, and yeah, so basically, the medicine um, comes in a bottle and you have to mix it. I don't mix it personally. This is all done at my doctor's office. He mixes it together and then it's in like a big, like a big syringe because I don't remember my exact dose, which is kind of similar, I want to say, to like a, a um, like an hourly rate sort of thing like I get a certain dose every hour for 24 hours so like it's like well I think it's done in micro micrograms it's done in micrograms so let's I'm just gonna make up a number this isn't the number that I get but let's just say I get like 10 micrograms an hour every hour for 24 hours and then it starts all over again so a big amount of medicine has to go in there to fill the pump. So what they do is um, he does kind of like an ultrasound thing to find the pump site because there's a little port um, where the medicine goes in and it is kind of painful because he kind of has to push the needle in and he kind of has to 
move it around to make sure it goes in the right spot because obviously you don't want medication to just go anywhere because that medication is very powerful and very expensive. There are side effects to the medication, but for me, the benefits outweigh the risk for me personally. Um, so yeah, and he finds the port and then he administers the medication and it's done in about 15 minutes. Now, I, I don't know. I was going to try to film how it works, but I, I just don't personally think my doctor would be comfortable with that personally because we don't just talk about the back open pump stuff. We talk about life stuff, like, you know, because he truly, truly cares about me as a whole and like how I'm doing with everything and all that stuff so yes I could edit that out but like I don't know I just one of these days I'm gonna film one of these days I'm gonna film a refill for you guys but I just don't know when that'll be maybe I could reenact one at home um and then another cool thing is they also have like a programmer so they could see like how much medicine I've used, um, what my dosage is, they could change the dosage. It's like a little like, um, I don't know, it's like a little machine that's like this big that they use. It's just, it, it's crazy the amount of technology. But anyway, so we've made the decision that I'm not taking the power chair. Like I know I said I was in yesterday's video, but because, I don't know. My mom just doesn't, like it's an hour ride, so my mom just doesn't feel comfortable with me sitting in the power chair for that long. Because the van is like me hooked up, you know, and stuff. So, you know. I don't know, she just wants me to be more comfortable and, you know, safer, obviously. So we're going to go in the regular black car, and I'm going to climb on the bed, but we're going to obviously sanitize everything and obviously take precautions. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot to mention. Um, it's a sterile, it's not a sterile, it's a sterile procedure so like they put he puts a uh, betadine on my stomach and cleans it and wears gloves and like the needle is in a sterile procedure so it's a sterile field so that's also something I forgot to add so everything is sterile everything is safe and yeah so that's a little pump information for you. It is 9.45 and we're going to make coffee. So have ice and get you an assistant, my mom, who's going to pour it in for me because I, oh, it doesn't have a spout. I spill. It doesn't have a spout. And then... You'd be able to do it if it had a spout. Yeah. And then I'm going to pour the creamer in. You might not need to eat that at all, but... So now we're going to... You want to add this little left? No. No? Do they see the coffee or are you holding it up in front of them? Mm, you're getting good with that. You know what this little left? I just don't have to waste it. I don't want to waste anything in these times. In these times, Emily.
Did you eat more ice? No. Okay. All right. So, it is a very rainy day, of course, because every time we go to get my back oven pump filled, it's either raining or snowing or doing whatever. So, we're on our way, and um, I'll update you guys when we get there. Bye. Okay, so it is 12.12 12 p.m. and our appointment was at 12 o'clock and we're back in the car. Um, that was the fastest pump appointment that I think I've ever had. Um, everything still got done that needed to get done, but it was just right down to business. Get on the table and do what you need to do. Blah. Wow, English, do what you need to do. Um, 11.30. No, September 8th. Oh, sheesh. I got nervous. Oh. Anyway, um, and something that I thought was interesting, um, normally we increase the pump, um, like every time we go, just because my spasticity and whatever, but this time we asked... And we weren't allowed to, which is fine because with everything going on, um, we don't know, like, he, they said that they don't know when they can get us back in and, you know, everything else like that. So, I guess nobody is allowed increases. No, turn off completely. I guess nobody is allowed increases right now. Or at least I wasn't. Which he's is, not doing them anyway. Oh, he's... His patients. Yeah. So, my doctor's not doing them with his patients. Which is fine, because whatever. I mean, I'm... You know, it's not like I'm in pain or anything or whatever. Because sometimes the baclofen can help with pain. Um, so, it's not anything crazy like that. It's just to loosen my legs a little bit more. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm fine. Everything is fine. So we just needed to come here to get it refilled because we were coming on Monday anyway, but we came a few days early because of everything going on. Um, but yeah, so that's the appointment. <laughs> I know, it was like, oh, I do need to sanitize. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys at home. Also editing Emily here, I'm editing this and realizing that it's not making sense. When I say increase the pump, like we usually ask to increase the pump every single time we go, it means like increase the dosage. So we go up on the dosage a little bit every single time, which helps my spasticity and helps just overall things in general so he wasn't allowing us to increase the dose this time because sometimes people can have um like that, that's the word adverse reactions like they could um be more of like a fall risk if they're too loose then they don't have the strength to hold their body up or you know sometimes it could be just a little too much um that's happened to me i think like once or twice in my whole you know so we think. anyway so we think that's happened to me once or twice in my whole career with the pump um so uh and so when that happens, you have to go back in and you have to, um, you know, dial it back down or whatever with the machine, like I explained earlier. Um, and, you know, it's not something that I can do from home. Um, if he had to, he would do a home visit. But, you know, in times like this, with everything going on, um, they don't know when they would be able to get anyone back in the office for adjustments so he just made the decision that he's not going to do 
increases for his patients right now. Um, today was just strictly to get in there, change the medicine, and make sure that everything is good with the pump. And he said that my pump is fine, it's working great. So that's basically what today was. So I just wanted to clarify that because I felt watching the footage back that I wasn't making sense. And um, yeah, so that's it. So we're stopping at a store to get something to drink because we need something to drink after eating lunch. Um, but I just wanted to end the video here because I'm really tired, um, because these appointments often, like, stress me out, not because I don't know what's gonna happen, because I've had the back foot pump for 10 years now, maybe even a little bit longer than that, I have to do the math, I got it when I was 13 and I'm 22, so you do the math, um, but just because it's a lot of, like, anticipation and like the drive and like especially like this time like you know everybody's like hunkering down and like you know um just a lot of stuff like that but I want to say that the content expressed in this video is my own personal experience my own testimony and my own protocol of what my doctor um, does and is choosing to do during this time. Your doctor may do different things. Your doctor may do, um, different things on a regular day anyway. Um, so I just want to make that clear. Like, I had a former friend one time. We had the same disability. We had the same pump, but our doctors did completely different things and that's okay. As long as you're getting the care that you need and that you deserve, that's all that matters. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and I hope it was informative to you in some way and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope everyone's hanging in there. Bye bye.